Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new, don't forget to scroll down and subscribe. So today's video, as you can see, I pretty much have a bare face. I just have my eyes done. Um, it's going to be a first impressions of the new Maybelline Superstay Better Skin um, Foundation. I did get it in the shade Coconut. It is a little bit dark, but I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 330 um, Toffee Caramel. So hopefully these will like even themselves out. We will see. We will also be trying out some new brushes today, a new liquid lipstick. Like I'm really excited to get into this video. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you've seen a sneak peek because I did do um, a little bit of a haul and that's kind of where I picked up these products. We're also going to be using a new contour palette today. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to start off with my e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and work that into the skin. And you guys know that I'm very dry. Take my nose ring out, something I always forget. I'm very dry, so I have to moisturize my skin. I did already put my face moisturizer on, but I used two primers because I like everything completely matte, but I really have to get the skin underneath completely moisturized first. And talking about moisturizing, um, I was at Walgreens, and I seen that Milani had new Moisture Lock um, grapeseed oil infused lip treatments, which I just thought was like really um, freaking cool that they had that. I don't know what flavor this is or what scent this is. I'm sure it's grape, but I got two of them, and this one is uh, protecting pomegranate. I have the grape one already on, um, and so far I really like it. I used it last night, and I just thought that it was simply amazing. I woke up, my lips weren't dry. I put it on um, earlier today to give my lips some time to get the moisturizer in, so I definitely recommend those. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel, and I really do like this primer. I feel like it definitely works. So, if you have a hard time with like oil coming through throughout the day, you have really oily skin, I definitely would recommend trying that. And it's only like five bucks at um, the drugstore. I mean, I know it's like five bucks at Walmart and Target. So at Walgreens, of course, it's going to be a little more expensive. Okay, so we're going to be using these new um, uh, Wet n Wild brushes. Oops. <laughs> I'm having a day, guys. Um, it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan. Now, when I looked them up online, it said that they would be in the Wet n Wild store in 20, uh, 20, January of 2016, but I did find them at Walgreens, and I paid $2.99 for the big ones, and I did do a first impressions today with the um, eyeshadow ones, and these ones were $0.99. Cents. These brushes are just so cute, and they are extremely soft. So I'm going to use this one today for my foundation instead of the normal um, brush that I norm that I usually use. And we're going to go in and just put, um, uh, I'll do three pumps, I guess. Well, that was like two and a half. And dot that on the skin. Yeah, I'm going to need another real pump. There we go. Because you guys know how I am with my foundation. That just wasn't enough. So we're going to start buffing that in the face. Uh, this color is definitely dark on me. It's just like a shade darker. But the shade before that was like way, way, way too light. I don't know why, but... I look like I got a tan going on here, guys. But hopefully the powder will do the trick. And this is a medium to full coverage. And I guess that would depend on how much you put on because right now I don't feel like I'm getting a full coverage. Um, because I do like the makeup pretty heavy so I'm just going to give myself another pump here and go in where my 
cheeks and under eye are because that's where I feel like I'm not getting enough coverage. I really like this brush. It is like super, super soft. And I like, really like the way that it's um, blending out the foundation. So that's a good thing. See, guys, on the camera, I'm looking like a freaking Oompa. I'm looking really orange here. And I'm not feeling that. So hopefully I can get the powder to, like, even me out because coconut is dark on my skin. And I'm not really that light. All right. So I've been using a new concealer and it is the Hard Candy Glamouflage and I did talk about it in I think my previous video. It is so thick and so heavy so you have to really be careful when you're using it but I'm using it for highlighting and I'm gonna like put it on the way I normally would in the spots that I normally would but I'm using my finger because the other day I was using this and I tried to like just take the applicator and put it on and I ended up with way way too much like I was looking straight crazy so I feel like I have more control with my finger and these are the areas that normally a highlight and then I'm going to take my pretend beauty blender and work that into the skin and I did get a really light shade because like I said I use it for highlighting my highlight areas you see how thick this is it's um, supposed to be a comparable dupe to the Kat Von D um, Locket Tattoo Concealer so, I think that they're 100% right about that, only this one's just way cheaper. It's hard candy. You can find hard candy at Walmart. I think I might have paid like five or six bucks for this. So, you really got to work it in the skin. And as you can see, like, you really got to be careful about how much you're using because it has a really good coverage. It says that it can cover up tattoos. Uh, which I haven't tried on any of my tattoos because I don't have a reason to cover them up, but I believe that it can cover up tattoos, that's for sure. Okay. Looking crazy here, guys. Now, I'm going to take my airspun. I'm going to bake my face. And I need to dampen my, my beauty blender. And I'm just going to use this e.l.f. setting spray because you guys know I don't use it for anything else. Get in that airspun. And you want to put it in the areas that you want to highlight the places that I just used the concealer on. Like so. And by the way, I really, really like this airspun as a um, setting powder. Like, it works wonders. And I got that at Walmart for like five bucks. I feel like you can't beat that. It's a good translucent powder. And I know that some translucent powders out there are really expensive or they don't work. So, and you're supposed to let this like sit on the skin minutes or so, five to ten minutes. I sometimes don't make it that far, but we'll see how we do today. And it is messy, just so you know. But I feel like any translucent powder is, unless it's uh, like a setting powder that's flat. Um, so we're going to let that bake. The liquid lipstick that we're going to be using today that I picked up is the Vivid Matte liquid um, lipsticks from Maybelline. And it looks like this. And I haven't seen them before, so I know that they're new. And the color that we're going to be using is Possessed Plum in shade 50. So, excuse me, I'm really excited about that. 
I hope that it actually stays matte. I will review all of this, all of these products um, after, like today, and I've worn them. And you know, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I'll jump in and kind of show you guys how it's wearing throughout the day. So I got a powder brush as well that I really like. It's soft. They have like a lot of different brushes, but I picked up the ones that I more so felt that I would use. So right now, I'm going to go in. I'm going to dust all of that away, the areas that we were highlighting. It hasn't been five minutes, of course, but I feel like it's sat long enough. So, I think this powder is, like, way too light, and I'm going to have to go in with another powder. And my really thick powder brush. Oh, going a little crazy here. Well, my Max Fix Potter evens me out, so that's a good thing. Don't feel like I'm looking orangey now. I don't think that I really like this powder brush. I think it's too, too loose feeling, um, whereas this one is like a more firm top. So let's dip back into this powder and see here. Because maybe it wasn't too light. Maybe it was just the brush. Which I think it was. Just the brush. Good thing I didn't let my face bake for five minutes because with that concealer those areas are very highlighted. Oh, I'm just making myself look crazy. So, first impression on this powder brush, it's really not for me, um, for powder. Maybe I can use it for something else. But this one's a little more firm, and it's bigger, so I like that. Not really a fan of this one already. Okay, so next thing we need to do is, I guess I'll get into this contour palette. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll throw some blush on first. Yeah, I'll throw some blush on first. I'm just going to use my MAC Fever blush with my normal Sona Kashuk um, blush brush that I always use. Lightly dust that on today. Normally I like it really heavy, but I think my eyes are really dramatic and my lips are going to be really dark today, so I think that that's good enough. Okay, so we're going to go in with this. I bought a contouring brush from that collection, and the reason why I did get this soft one is because I don't normally contour. Um, so I'm really scared about doing it, but we're gonna, we're gonna see. We're just going in with this dark shade here. I think it's called Espresso. Let me look at the paper. It is. I don't know, this brush is like totally not even picking it up. Alright, changing brush. I'll try to use that for highlighting, because that's not really working out. It's like way too soft. That's the one thing about these brushes. They are extremely soft. So I'm going to go on with my Kona, my Sona Kashuk, um contouring brush and just contour my cheeks. This job, this brush getting the job done. And down my nose a little bit. Just a tiny bit. 
nothing too crazy. And then I'm just going to blend, blend it in real well, like so. Ooh, I like that, guys. It's really pretty. Puff that in real good. And then, let's try this for highlighting. We're going to go in with this pretty pearl color, and it is called Vanilla. I like it. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, pretty, pearly glow versus my yellow that I usually like to go for, but I've been trying to do like a nice, soft, light pearl highlight lately, so I do like that. I like this better for, this brush better for highlighting, definitely. Uh, yeah, I take it to the extreme with my highlighting, because you guys know I like a glow. I'm going to throw a little bit more blush on. And then we'll get into our lipstick and we will be done. Not bad, guys. Not bad. I made that foundation work. I'll tell you that much. That was magic. Okay. So we're going to go in with the liquid lipstick. I should probably line my lips first. We'll use this wine color that I got from Sally's. It's a little light, but I don't really have a dark purple. So, that'll work. I don't know how I feel about this formula. It's really thin and streaky, so it seems like you have to build it up. It feels nice, but it doesn't go on very thick. And like I said, it does go on really streaky. We'll see if it dries down matte, though. Pretty color. You know I'm a Q-tip girl, so I'm going to take my Q-tip and clean up a little bit. My bottom lip is still very streaky. Let's see if I can build that up. I don't know, guys. We'll see how that that does. That's a lot of liquid lipstick to be putting on just to get the color to show up. Alright guys, so this is the finished look for today. We'll see how it does. Uh, make sure you follow me on Snapchat. If you don't, it's SheSheB. I'm going to be checking in. Um, but thanks again for stopping by my channel and taking the time out to watch my crazy video because like that didn't go quite as I had already pl as I planned. I'm glad I already um, had my eyes done. So until next video, um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And I think this might be my last video for 2015, but we'll see, guys. I might try to squeeze in another one. I love you and take care. Bye.